Nice. That's tasty. So snuggly. He's such, He's a, such a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and exhale. This is Blue. That's Poncho, and that's me doing alpaca yoga. Growing up in Montana, I spent a lot of time outside. Whether it was at home or on my grandparents' farm, I was always outside. But since moving to New York City, I really haven't had the chance to be out and about with nature. So I decided to take a day trip to escape the city and go to Bluebird Farm alpacas. There, I spent the day hiking with alpacas, doing yoga with alpacas, and just being outside. This is Everyday Adventurer. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. Jordan, Nick, nice to meet you. We're excited to introduce you to a few alpacas. Sweet. Should we head that way? Absolutely. Right. Let's do it. The best place to pet an alpaca is really on their backs and about halfway up their necks. Yeah. Alpacas are really not crazy about having their heads patted. They're animals of prey, so they're always looking out for predators. Mm. You get near their heads, they tend to shy away because they always want to be able to see, and of course they're concerned you're going to block their vision. Mm -hmm. You might be interested to know alpacas have no upper front teeth. Their mouths are actually designed to eat the grass out in the pastures here of New Jersey mm -hmm. or amongst the rocks in the Andes Mountains. The grain that you're going to be feeding them, it's very simple. You put a little grain in your hand and because they have no upper front teeth, it kind of tickles. No concerns about being bitten by an alpaca Perfect. here at Bluebird Farm. We get um, folks from all over the area, from Manhattan, from Long Island, from Philadelphia, and everywhere in between. And they are of all ages. I mean, from one-year-olds to centennials. Mm -hmm. um, and the best part about what we do here is that, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people that come to visit us are genuinely nice people mm -hmm. because they're animal lovers and they're coming to hang out with alpacas. So we're really in the business of smiles and giggles and laughs and showing everybody a good time and they have this phenomenal fiber. Their fiber is actually similar to a polar bear's fiber in that the fibers are hollow. So it's very warm. It's also incredibly soft, as you're gonna note feeling them or things in the store. It's also hypoallergenic. And each alpaca can produce as much as 10 pounds of fiber. So you can come to our farm, you can meet an alpaca, and then you can wear that alpaca. Do they get to run free range? They, they do. Okay, yeah. Nice. Well, anything that's within the white fence, uh -huh. they have free range to. Fabulous. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. I was born for this. This practice is nothing like a typical yoga practice that you will have inside of a studio. Uh -huh. Having the alpaca, they are you've spent time with them. They are so inquisitive, curious, observant. They just have this natural, grounded sense about them. We'll see all the people kind of come in with this like frenetic energy and everybody just settles. And it's almost like we become part of this alpaca herd. And they're very entertaining. They all have like a different personality. Some of them will eat off of people's mats if they put the food and um, it's just really fun. The most amazing thing to me about these alpaca is how smart they are. I've never seen one of them step on anyone's mat. They have this incredible proprioception awareness of their body in space. You will see them eating grass. You'll get some really good ASMR grass chomping sounds in the background. It's like our soundtrack for the class. They kind of hang out with each other. You won't often see one of them alone. So it's kind of neat to be in with them. Beautiful. <laughs>